Hello, this is Colin Liddell and this is The Short Pod, a brief and succinct podcast commenting on the events and issues of the day. And today it is the 17th of February, 2024. Yesterday we heard the news that the Russian dissident Alexei Navalny had died slash been murdered in a remote Siberian jail. The circumstances of his death are unclear and will probably remain unclear. But uh, the story is that uh, he went for a, a walk around the prison yard and then he reported feeling ill and uh, died of some kind of heart attack or blood clot. These uh, details are bound to um, vary over the coming days, depending upon the uh, expediency of propaganda. But uh, most people are going to assume quite rightly, that uh, this is somebody that uh, Putin wanted to get rid of and uh, was instrumental in his death. But uh, with something like this, the timing is always quite important. Why now? And also it is possible that Navalny, because of uh, the uh, strenuous conditions under which he had been living, kept in a very remote Siberian jail, often subjected to um, solitary confinement, etc., might have uh, died naturally. That's not outside the realms of possibility. Is it actually good for Putin that Navalny died at this time? He has a fake presidential election taking place uh, next month, uh, just a few weeks away. So that might be a little bit awkward. So if he did it on purpose, the timing looks a little bit uh, suspect. Possibly he was so embarrassed by the crappy interview he did with uh, Tucker Carlson that he felt he had to reassert his kind of uh, badass persona and so he thought right I'll go and kill Navalny now and that'll make all those people in the west start to uh, respect me after um, I completely blew it with Tucker. So I think uh, we have to keep an open mind on this Whether Navalny died a natural death or not, you can still blame Putin for killing him. Putin sent his uh, henchmen to assassinate him using Novichok a few years ago. Uh, Navalny miraculously survived that. Uh, He went to Germany for treatment and foolishly, you might say, he returned uh, to Russia. But this was a man who obviously had a tremendous um, courage And I think the Russian people will probably appreciate the courage that Navalny showed coming back to live in Russia and uh, putting his life at risk in this way. So I think Navalny could be quite a a rallying point for opposition to Putin, especially around the election. So from my perspective, this looks like a decidedly tricky incident to have occurred for Putin right on the cusp of his fake election and reanointment as the uh, czar of all the Russians. So this is the time for the Russians, if they don't want to be slowly, gradually, relentlessly fed into meat grinder wars, to uh, take a stand and show just a little bit of the enormous courage that Navalny had over and out. <laughs>